What's going on guys? It's B Fred with my boy Ant. My man. And this is Gym Talk episode four. Yeah, we're on episode four already. That's awesome. So guys, um, as previously seen with Ant, um, you've seen him in the Marine Challenge that we did together before, which was a Crazy. hilarious yeah, video. That shit fucking sucked, I'm not gonna lie. That was that was that was really tough, but yeah. we did it. We literally accomplished everything we needed to accomplish, so that was good. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I just wanted to bring you on um, for this week's episode, and I just wanted you to, you know, talk right. with like the viewers, like what have you done in the past um, for like specific like you know goals you had in mind, whether that was cutting down, okay, um, so. or like what was. I remember you you were always changing up your type of workouts mm -hmm. like what was your favorite type of training and why so my favorite is always going to be my favorite and my go-to is always crossfit i love crossfit workouts because you get that extreme fat burning work you get a good pump yeah you put on muscle you stay lean and it's it's endurance building for sure for sure right now i'm going more for the the toned bodybuilder look like the you know like the so, physique you want to yes. like when you're taking the shirt off like we're I looking wanna, good on the beach yeah like I, I know it's not beach season yet but like right. we can always still be we can ready always for fly it. to the beach exactly. exactly i want women to drool when i take my shirt off <laughs> oh that's gonna be the no, opening I'm, clip right there yeah, I, just <laughs> want them, I just want them to drool so right now i was on a push pull leg program which i stick stuck with for about 90 days and it kind of gave me that, it gave me the, the, um, the strength that I needed right. to continue my next phase, mm -hmm. which now I'm going mainly like I'm hitting legs three days a week where I'm going Monday, I'm going legs. Um, then later in the week, I'll go sink, I'll go quads and then I'll go hamstrings. So you, you, um, like specify like, like an exact muscle group, like you just said. So like full legs, quads, and hamstrings yeah. included Monday. Then you target quads specifically on Wednesday and then hamstring Friday. Oh yeah. Is there like a reason why you're like targeting legs so much? Is it, do you think Leg, like- Legs is the foundation. It just kind of, it kind of, it, it builds everything else up. I agree. When you got strong legs, you got endurance. When you got strong legs, you got strength. Facts. When, you're, when your legs is weak, you're weak. weak. You can't, you know, what do you gotta do? That how, is, yeah. how are you gonna walk in the gym with weak legs? That's, and, and it's you funny, know? it's like, and like, that's why people are like, oh, like, where's your legs? Like, legs, like, mm -hmm. people preach it. It's like, there's a reason why people are on you about doing legs. And like, yeah. I've yet to upload a leg day, so can't, I'm getting on that. I'm, honestly, I'll probably film a leg day for this episode since mm -hmm. we're talking about it. Yeah, and get me in there because I got, I got quads Week? today. Maybe we'll so, join. You know, and, uh, I keep my gallon a day. Nutrition is key, which I- It's I, huge. I, I kind of sort of, I, I wouldn't say I suck on it, I'm like 60, 40. Where every, every morning I have my plain oatmeal with maybe seven, eight egg whites and some fruit, a grapefruit. You know, I have that after I do my fasted training. Yeah, fasted training, I yeah. think has been, for me personally, the, like one of the biggest keys to my like fat burning and like getting really cut up and shredded because when you're training on a fasted state, you're getting right into the fat reserves mm -hmm. and you throw in some hit cardio on top of that, on top of that. you'll see results immediately. Uh, yep, so it's, of course, regarding that your diet is pretty well intact, where yep. it's try going 80-20, where 80% is pretty on point, healthy, 20% yep. some leniency, but uh, in, in general, um, Right, like the diet and then you throw in like fasted training mm -hmm. and it's like people like can't imagine training on an empty stomach but like the more you oh, do it, it I'm telling you, I ever since I've been like training on an empty stomach, mm -hmm. like I'll take like, you know, coffee before, yeah, something coffee. like a stimulant, like, get you like focused. Mm -hmm. Man, like I have, I'm just dialed in for my workouts. Yeah. I'm, have, I'm like, I'm focused and I've produced simply the best results yeah. by training fasted yeah. and I am someone who swears by that. Mm -hmm. um, so what I do is I do like a half of a grapefruit in the morning mm -hmm. and then uh, maybe some black coffee, depending yeah. on how I'm feeling. Um, if I was drinking the night before, then no black coffee. Yeah. Those mixed emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, <laughs> fuck that. Fuck that. But, <laughs> but, but I have my half a grapefruit and uh, and come in and I kill it. I have, I do my weights, whatever day it is. I do I do my workout and then later in the evening I will come do my yeah. hip workout and um, maybe like so if I come in today I'm I'll be doing like for instance I'm doing quads, shoulders and biceps today. Right. 
I'm a killer today. I'm going heavy on Bro, it. Bro, you always grind. And yeah. before we finish this up, I just want to touch back on the leg emphasis. Mm -hmm. um, legs just overall build everything. You're working your core when you're hitting legs. You're working, your whole body is going to grow when you're hitting legs. You're burning the most yeah. calories. You're, you're literally grabbing every muscle group in your yeah. body yeah. and it is going to work when you are yeah. hitting legs extremely hard. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and honestly, guys, um, I talked to Ant before. Um, I think we're gonna be starting to train together. Mm -hmm. I want to document me and him working out. We're each gonna have our own separate goals that we're gonna obtain. I'm kind of on the same thing. Like, I'm like in a maintenance kind of tone up a little bit. So, mm -hmm. um, we're gonna see. You know, like down the road, I want to you know document like you know in a, like every week like our progress, mm -hmm. a, like a weekly weigh in, yeah. and then where we are, and then where we want to see ourselves three to six months from now. Okay. Cause when you're trying to transform guys, the biggest thing is to be patient. Yeah. Um, if you eat really healthy one day, you're not gonna like, like don't expect it immediately. Don't like expect to have that. lose like 15 pounds right. and be like 7% body fat. It takes, <laughs> right. it takes weight, time. look, don't even like weigh yourself in the beginning. Just, just take it one day at a time and just envision of what yourself, envision what yourself will look like mm -hmm. when you can stay on track and what you will be like in three to five months from that point you start on. Just stay on track. And just yeah. stay on track guys, stay consistent, find foods that you genuinely like eating, find your calorie maintenance and go either low or high depending on whether you wanna you know, put on size or lean down mm -hmm. and that will get you the results you guys are looking for. And thank you so much for joining no the episode. Problem, and um, kill it as always, brother. As always, I'm in here, yeah. man. Hey. What's going on, guys? Uh, for today's workout, I'm going to be showing you a staple that I've been putting into my routine for probably the past month now. This is one of my favorites because it's a very quick fat burning circuit and it's just gonna really shred you up, tone you up, and um, really give you like that definition you're looking for, but still adding like pretty good muscle. So the exercises that we are going to be doing, are gonna, we're gonna be doing 10 reps of parallel squat, followed right into 10 reps of outside kettlebell rows, right into 10 reps of dumbbell chest press, right into 10 reps of military shoulder press, and then our finisher after all that is a quick one minute jump rope. We are gonna be doing that four to five rounds and you're gonna be taking a one minute rest in between each round. So literally it's back to back to back to back exercises, no rest in between. And then once that full circuit's done, you get one minute of rest and then back into it. This is such a good time saver for the gym. You're getting your most bang for your buck. You're really gonna be working yourself. And if you're not sweating, then you're not doing it hard enough. So let me take you on. And uh, that's it guys, so as seen in the exercises, back to back exercises, 10 reps each, one minute of rest before starting the next round, four to five rounds, and that's guaranteed to cut you up and get shredded. So hope you guys fucking hit me talk.
Hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Stay tuned for next week.